All right, guys, welcome back. This is Dave in this order. This is part two of Windows 11, and we are going to look specifically at how to set up our widget tool so that we can optimize it for productivity. So if you haven't caught the first part of this video yet on how to install Windows 11, go ahead and check out that video. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. We are going to press Windows W to quickly launch the widget tool. Alternatively, you could go down into your taskbar and select the icon that has the white and teal rectangles, vertical rectangles. But the quickest way you're gonna to wanna to do this is Windows W. That will toggle your widget tool open and closed. And the first thing we're going to want to do is remove the widgets that are not related to productivity. So we want to optimize this widget tool to help us quickly get our productivity chores done. You can do that by clicking on these three dots and then selecting remove widget. So I just removed the stock price widget. I'm also going to remove the entertainment widget. Uh, remove the sports widget. You can also hover your mouse cursor over the specific widget and drag that around to rearrange. And now we want to add the rest of our productivity widgets. To do that, we will click on the add widget button and click on the circular plus icons or buttons to add additional widgets. So the ones related to productivity here, we will select Outlook Calendar. Go ahead and add that. And what else? We already added the to-do widget, which is fine. The watch list is our stocks, which I just removed. So I think that should do it for now. And now from the widget tool, we can quickly add events to our calendar. And it will basically just take you into uh, Outlook. It looks like the online version is what it's linked to now. Windows W will open my widget tool back up. And you can scroll down to see the rest of your news feed, which we're not really using. Under tasks, we can also add a task. This one is upload video, we enter that, and now we've got an automatic task list right here. You can click on this drop down to uh, sort through your tasks, basically. And then you've got some additional options uh, to, again, make it smaller or larger. In this case, let's make it smaller. I don't need to see my whole task list. And then also the tips is nice to have if you're new to Windows 11 to see what different productivity options or uh, features are listed here. All right, I hope you found this video helpful and I will catch you on the next one and we will look at additional features on Windows 11 to optimize our productivity. Thanks for watching.